Hey kids, welcome to lesson 11, while loops number 17. Introducing plus equal operators and dash equal operators. Sometimes you want to add or subtract something other than one from the current value of a variable. If you wanted to add or subtract three, for example, such as count equals count plus three or count equals count minus three, plus plus or dash dash wouldn't help. It turns out this is a pretty common as well. So there's actually a shorthand version of count equals count plus three. Introducing plus equal and dash equal. We can use the plus equal or the dash equal operator to add or subtract any value we want from the current value of a variable. So the shorthand version of count equals count plus three and count equals count minus one would be count plus equals three or count dash equals three. Notice the three statements, count equals count plus one, count plus plus, and count plus equal one do exactly the same thing. Which one you use as a programmer is your choice. And in the future, you can use either version. But let's just try this new operator out here. We have a do this, change the code to use a count plus equal three instead of a count equal plus three. So the program will still count up by three. You'll need to be in text mode to do this. You'll get to try out our dash equal on the next level. Ooh, how exciting. Taking a look at our code here, just says we have a variable count which is equal to zero while the count is not equal to 30. You're going to count plus three. Let's just go ahead and hit run to see this. Three, six, nine, 12, lots of numbers afterwards. Let's try this shorthand. And this shorthand is this plus equal. So let's go over here to our count equals count plus three, and we can get rid of a lot of this. You don't need to duplicate the count equals count plus equal three. Shorthand is just a shorter version, so we're just going to do our plus equal three in that standpoint. This says the same thing. Remember, all three of these saying the exact same thing. So you really get to choose what you want. You're just trying it out. Let's make sure this runs as intended. And same thing, three, six, nine, 12, 15, and down, down to 30. Pretty easy and pretty neat. Hopefully this will help you save some time in your coding future. Looking back, we did change our count using our new little operator here. And I think that's all code.org wanted. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.